This is a way to grab a form that has been shared with you um, and then put it in Teams for an assignment. So Sue shared the link. I opened it. It had a duplicate button at the top. I clicked it. It opened to this screen, which is now the duplicate. You know that because the word copy, copy is up at the top. There's a couple of things you want to do. The first thing is you want to change something within the form. So the obvious thing for me is to delete those things. And I'm just going to call this one test because I'm going to delete it. And then it will change the name up here because, you know, that's the name of the file. Now, at this point, once I have it, it's already saved. I go into Teams. And I go into whatever team it is that I want to go into. So in this case, I'm going to my social studies team. I go to assignments. And I go to create. Um, it's going to be an assignment that I'm creating. But in this, well, in this case, it's actually a quiz. So let's go to quiz. And then it'll bring you right to forms. So this is the one I just created that says test. And since I'm going to actually really post this right now, I'm going to click this one, which is the right one, <laughs> and click Next, and then it will automatically populate it here. Now, it's your job to give the kids directions or to tell them whatever it is to do. So in this case, I'm going to put, um, please complete the quiz. Sorry, it's hard to... Quiz, remember to read carefully and go back in the text. To check your answers. with one hand and over here all right so my directions were real simplistic um you know please complete the quiz remember to read carefully and go back into the text to check your answers i should tell them then hit then hit submit when done okay so there it is, uh, top, total points is 100. Here, it's I'm gonna send it to both of my two classes, to all the students. I'm going to make it due tomorrow at 12 o'clock midnight. And there is, it's gonna post in the assignments, um, in the general chat. And then I go up to the top and I just click assign. It's really, 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 really that easy. Now, once you have it in there, you have to give it a second to refresh. So what I do for a refresh is, there it is, it just came up down there. Now I'm gonna go here to post, and then I'm gonna go and see it's right here. Then I'm gonna go back into assignments, and now it should populate, there it is. 26 kids have been assigned it, so it's pretty cool. Um, if I go into grades, it'll show that no one's done it, but it'll show here the test, you see? I don't know why this is the second one. Hmm. All right, but I see where this one is here. So all my kids are there and boom, now we're done. When I was done, if I graded it, the grades would show there and I'll be able to grab the grades from here and put them into Gradebook. I hope that helps somebody and I hope everybody has a good night.